Hi, Linda Davis, Inner Harbor Acupuncture, talking today about using smokeless moxipoles. So here's one that I've already gotten started, but this is what they look like. It's a charcoalized version of a smoky moxipole. I'm going to start with the lighter. It takes a while. Uh, you'll see that I've got my thumb away from that little wheel. That little wheel gets hot if you hold this down for a prolonged time. But I just hold the moxipole at the tip of that flame and I'm slowly rotating the moxipole and I'm looking to see that there's some ash buildup on the pole. Put out the light, put out the candle. Blow on this a little bit. And you can see it's really starting to get going. So once it's really going, you can hold it up on the area that you want to heat. Now you can see I am not holding it really close. I am holding it so that I can feel a comfortable warmth. And another thing you might notice is that I'm moving the moxipole slowly. So you don't come and just hold it at one area. You can do what they call the sparrow pecking method. If you want to work on a very tight area, you come close and then pull away. So you're letting the heat come in gently and kind of soak through into the so we're looking for gentle pink in the area, a comfortable warmth. In terms of the effects it has, okay, it has several effects. So it makes you have vivid dreams, it encourages relaxation, it calms you down, it's a relaxant, and it also helps with gastrointestinal problems and digestive issues. So it really is quite a versatile thing. The only problem is it can be hard to consume. Burn mugwort and uh, you, can, you can buy online mugwort incense sticks and you burn them and the idea is they relax you. Now, this won't get enough of the active ingredient into your system to actually have an effect on your dream vividness, but it will relax you and the smell is said to be quite relaxing and soothing. There's also another semi-effective way of, of using it and that is to just put it into a dream pillow. I've spoken before about uh, dream pillows. They're essentially just a bundle of lucid dreaming herbs and, and aromas and incense things like lavender, mint and like things like this. You just bundle them all into a, an old sock or like a, a fabric type pillow and you sleep on top of it. And the idea is the aromas will help you relax and it does sort of work. You can include mugwort in that, but it doesn't get the active ingredient into your system. And so I'm going to finish on the most effective way of, of getting the ingredients into your system, which is to drink it. And it'll be